Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also in the process of rolling out the next optional bug fix update for the original release of Windows 11. So if you are still using version 21H2, the optional update for this month will be KB5026436, which was rolled out and made available on the 23rd of May. And um, the OS build will be bumped up if you do install the update to OS build 22000.2003. Now, for this month, um, Windows 11 21 H2 does not get any new features, and that's because Microsoft is focusing on the next moment update rolling out um, late today, actually, on the 24th of May uh, for Windows 11 22 H2, which uh, is bringing the third wave of new features to Windows 11 22 H2, also known as the Moment 3 update, and we'll get a little bit uh, into that um, a little bit later in the video. Now, um, if you are still running version 21H2, KB5026436 um, does address important issues and um, flaws in the actual um, operating system when it comes to bugs. And um, just to go through a couple of the key highlights, if you would be interested, because this is a non-security bug fix update. The first is the update addresses an issue that affects narrator. Um, apparently, it now announces text attribute, attributes correctly for words such as misspelled, deletion change, and comment. Uh, the update addresses an issue that affects access to tab settings for Internet Explorer mode sites. So that's the Internet Explorer mode um, update and fix. And there are two fixes rolling out for printers. Apparently, the first was certain printers were failing to install if they connect to Wi-Fi automatically. And the second fix... Um, addresses a multifunction uh, label printer issue. So two printer um, fixes rolling out this month for version 21H2. Um, the update addresses an issue with audio playback where it was failing on devices that had or have certain processes. And then the search box uh, in the taskbar, there are improvements uh, to the user experience and interactions for the search box on the taskbar. So that's actually an improvement that has rolled out for this month. Now, um, the non-security update also includes numerous bug fixes, but just to mention a couple if you would be interested if you are running the original release of Windows 11. The update addresses an issue that affects the Local Security Authority Subsystem Service, LSASS for short. Apparently, it stopped working. And um, if we head over to our Windows Tools and we head to the Task Scheduler, which is a maintenance component built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. There's a fix for the scheduled tasks. Um, apparently, the tasks fail when they use stored local user account credentials. So that's been addressed with the task scheduler. And there's also another maintenance component, the event viewer, that's also received a fix this month. Um, the update um, addresses an issue that affects the use of event viewer. The issue limits the number of event sources that users who are not administrators can access. So two maintenance components have received fixes in version 21H2 for this month. And then the second last fix, just to mention for this video, um, there's a firewall um, fix that's rolled out. The firewall drops all connections to the IP address of a captive portal. That's been addressed and fixed. And there's also a NTFS um, stop error um, that's been fixed. So a stop error is a blue screen of death. And it's always nice when Microsoft does roll out fixes for blue screens of death in any shape and form. So that's more or less um, what's new for Windows 11 21H2 with the update KB5026436. Now, um, if you still want to hang around, just to mention, as I um, mentioned at the start of the video, for Windows 11 22H2 users, uh, the next Moment 3 update is rolling out, um, as I did mention earlier this month, later today on the 24th of May, which is a big, massive update, bringing numerous new features, um, the third wave of new features to Windows 11 22H2. And I did post a whole video um, on what you can more or less expect to see in the update, and I'll leave a link to that video down below. But just to go through a couple of the new features which we can expect to see roll out. This is by no means a comprehensive list, just a quick mention of a couple. Um, these include adding more live captions, languages, voice access command improvements, adds a VPN status um, icon to the system tray, displays seconds. You, we're also getting seconds now in the clock on the system tray. Adds access key shortcuts to File Explorer's context menu. 
Uh, there are live kernel memory dump improvements for the task manager. It replaces the settings for show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached. Uh, enables content adaptive brightness control to run on laptops and two-in-one devices. We're also going to be getting a USB 4 hubs and devices settings page. Um, adds a presence sensor privacy setting. Changes the default print screen uh, key behavior. Introduces a limit of 20 most recent tabs in settings that appear when you use Alt and Tab and Snap Assist and much more. And there are also numerous bug fixes that are rolling out. So as I, as I mentioned, if you want to get a, a quick um, overview as more or less what to expect, um, I'll leave a link to that Moment 3 feature update down below and um, what we can expect to see. But as mentioned, Moment 3 rolling out later today on the 24th of May 2023 for Windows 11 22H2 users. And obviously, when that does become available, I'm going to be posting and getting into detail as to the new features. So you can check that out later on the channel. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.